Welcome to our entire episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official teaser trailer for the Paramount Plus original series, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Now, suffice to say, I think people's biggest problem with Star Trek Discovery, or Disco, or mm -hmm. STD, however you want to call it, um, is that it's not a traditional Star Trek show. For it's some true. reason, yeah. a lot of people have not liked about it is that it's very serialized. Do you know what that means? The, sh the episodes are interconnected with each other. It's mm -hmm. not like they go on a journey here, resolved by the end of it. What it is, what he's, yeah, what he's trying to say is that uh, if you look back at the original Star Trek, uh, uh, and then also even the Next Generation, is that each episode is its own pretty much entity, where it's like where there's uh, something new, different going on on this episode and another episode and following episodes. Like it's it's pretty much not like your t you know typical okay it's a continuing series. Okay, yes, it's like no they explore new adventures in every single episodes, and of course you get those ones that are like two parters because they lead in one to another, but. There's just like, you know, those solid episodes where it's just like, we're focusing on what's going on here. They've made it to a new world or they, they're visiting a new so, entity. Yeah, so for some reason, they decided to take a different route with Discovery and make it more serialized focus, like making mm -hmm. sure it connects. And it's, and I haven't seen the show, we've only seen the trailers here on the channel and I don't know, I just feel off about it. Yeah. It's supposed to be a prequel, doesn't look like a prequel, does, you know, if it walks like a prequel, talks like a prequel, it seems like a prequel, but it doesn't look any like that. It doesn't feel right. And with what I'm liking about what I've heard about Stranger Worlds is they're taking that into a more traditional direction. Yeah, it's so, so like it sounds so, like it sounds like what they're it sounds like what they're doing is like this. Imagine what we just got with Discovery, but bringing it back to what we originally have always have wanted from a Star Trek Okay, show. so basically the premise is it's a spin-off mm -hmm. of Discovery, because of course Discovery is 10 years before the events of the original Star Trek series. With the spin-off, it follows Chris... Oh, Chris uh, I thought it was set more further in the future. I remember the original trailer said 10 years, but well, uh, here, let's... Yeah, that's what I was talking about. It's supposed I'm talking to be about for Discovery, though. Discovery, yeah, it's supposed to be a prequel. Discover said Discovery was supposed to be it's supposed to be a prequel. Let me let me explain because this is supposed to be a spinoff okay. of the, the the Christopher Pike yeah, yeah, from yeah. Discovery. Yeah, that's much. what we're getting. This AKA one, this one, this the one man. we're getting. This one we've seen Christopher Pike pretty much the man who eventually you know kind of like in, uh, recruits Kirk. Yes, uh, which they already confirmed they have cast the, Kirk, the yeah. third ever technically officially the third ever Kirk person to play. And Captain everyone's Kirk. saying go ahead too. Pretty much they picked the perfect guy because they're like he, he looks the part. He embodies him perfectly of who Kirk is. But I'm excited. For First, I know our dad's really excited for this because he's more of a fan of more traditional yeah. Star Trek shows. Even though he he really d does enjoy Picard. Yeah, but yeah. Let's just dive into this because we already got was it the guy who played uh, uh, who's playing Christopher Pike? I forgot his name, but he they're still using him from Discovery because that's why I said yeah. Had, uh, they're using him from Discovery because everybody loved how yeah, that's, how that's, that's why I say it's kind of a spinoff. Yeah, so let's dive into this for the official teaser trailer for Star Trek Strange New Worlds. So here we go. And that's it, all right. stars there are in the sky, no matter how many galaxies swirl beyond our own, in different worlds, no matter what the mathematical probabilities or the number of times we say we are not alone in the universe. Our first visit from the stars mm. Always the province of children's stories and science fiction. Yeah. Until one day, it isn't. I wonder how they're 
acronym to this because the acronym all Star Trek stuff. I know, right? Is this me? I don't know. Um, not much to say. The guy playing Pike looks the part. Yeah. Looks well, the part. Every ca- big captain we get so far, it's been like they used to have a ranch or some type of like middle of nowhere home. Because you had that kind of with Picard, he's got his own vineyard, and then you have, was it uh, with uh, Shatner's, you had, you know, Kirk, he had his own little, like, cabin in the woods, stuff like that, you know, so, it's like, I, I guess they, these, these, you know, it's, like, it's that, okay. rugged, I guess. No, no, it's not that, it's not because, you know, cowboys, yeehaw, American, go cowboys, you know. <laughs> no, it's, no, sorry, no, no, what I mean is, it's one of those things where they, they are so used to the open world, mm. the worlds, they, the open space they visit, the worlds they visit, that they lo- they prefer to live out somewhere By where themselves. they can still get that feeling of living out where somewhere expansive, yeah. even if it's in the middle of nowhere on yeah. a planet, it still feels like they're somewhere because they're sure. out there for so long. They're up yeah. there for so long. Yeah, they're yeah they're traveling that's for so long. Th- theory i'm probably talking on my ass right now but that's the theory i've always come up with that. oh no it, to me it feels like more of like because picard's family owned the vineyard so he just took it over well i know that but still either which way it was always some type of like open you know but what i mean my my thought in theory is just that they visit so many places they've talked to so many people it's like they love this the, the open the openness but also just that quiet because it's like they're always around computers, they're always around like anything digital age, stuff like that. It's like here, they're more of like traditional ways, you know, the old, the old ways and stuff like that, and they love it. Yeah. You know, that's to me, that's my personal opinion. But every, anybody, everybody's got their own thoughts of like why some of these captains are like this. I think for a lot of people, this is the prequel they've been wanting. Yeah. Like Discovery was supposed to be that, but then they took their own route. Yeah. And it's. No, no, I'm not saying everybody hated it. I think a lot of people still like At least with this you know, and, and I mean that. What I like is that even with Picard, they even told ahead of time going, don't expect it to be this serial, you know, like, uh, you know, this don't, don't, don't be doing it like this tradition. Fine. Which is all right, because they even warned people going, we're going a different route. But they didn't this, do that for Disco. No, they didn't do it with Discovery. They didn't, they did do, uh, you know, they're just like, this is what we're going with. You know, this is, this is our story. This is our crew. So we're thinking, oh, we're going to get, you know, deal. no, no. Picard, they, they told us ahead of time going, it's not going to be your traditional Star Trek show. We're, you know, Discovery, they didn't even warn us. They're just like, this is what we're, this is our crew. This is what we're getting, da, da, da. At least with this one, they're stating they're trying they want to do they kind of want to go back to what made star trek which is just a you know just a episode by episode adventure or episode by episode you know discovering new things you know each episode you know there's a new discovery a new uh thing that they find and it's like it, it surrounds the whole episode you know and and we're getting more in the style of like discovery but at least hopefully that's what, that, that's what i'm hoping for at least i'm really hopeful for this because it's like it's another chance for them to get to kind of get it Get those Star Trek fans, true fans, to come right back out and say, "Hey, I'll definitely watch this." You know, to be like, "I really do love," you know, the, you know what we're really I mean, made the fans. Yeah, I think they're really trying from the fact that it's focusing on Pike, from the yeah. fact that they're so subt- they're just flat out, because you know each each series has its own unique subtitle. They're just going with Strange New Worlds, trying to appeal to the Star, the Star Trek faithful. You know, yeah. you know, because the last the last actual. You know, general type of series we had was um, the one with Scott Bakula, wasn't it? It was like it was more of like episode by episode type of thing, right? I believe so. Yeah, because after that, do not quote us yeah, on don't that. Quote us, but I believe that was the last time we got I like that episode. It was. it was episode by episode, pretty much that, and that was called Enterprise. Yeah, I believe you're right because every after that is a. It was horror. just a, we went into the movies, and then that's when we started diving into. Oh, we're gonna do these shows now. You know these other shows. They, yeah, they did the, the newer movies. The newer movies. Like so that. I think I'm, that's why I said that was the last time. So hopefully this can get you know get back into those true hardcore fans that really you know the, what truly brought them into the original Star Trek universe and stuff like that. The, you know the series. Well, we'll have we'll have to wait and see on that. Yeah. But uh, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more anybody else when it comes to talking about paramount plus original series the subscribe button down below hit that bell icon as well
What, what did you guys think of this? Are you guys hopeful for this series? Are you one of those uh, true fans that really love the original or even some of the older shows that were like episode by episode, you know, a new, you know, new event or a new thing happening uh, surrounding just that one single episode? You know, were you a fan of just the new discovery in every single episode overall? I mean, is that what you're hoping for for this, for it to, to make that tri triumphant return to bring, you know, your, you know, th those true fans to come right back up going, I'm back in this now. You know, are you hopeful for it? You know, I mean, let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you guys thought of our reaction to this teaser trailer. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. I would recommend you guys go see our many, many other Star Trek related stuff. But Paramount, CBS are a bunch of assholes. So you probably will not see our reactions to Picard or this. Yeah. yeah. You can check out our old reaction to Discovery. Discovery survived, right? Yeah. I, you can check I, out our reaction to Discovery. So, I think so. Not, so until next time, though, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And this has been a very pike filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.